and we are about to delve into the madness that is my game space because I don't have a game room because only a portion of the room is actually dedicated to gaming but here it is this is actually our bedroom in our one bedroom apartment here uh, as you can see this is kind of the uh, main ensemble when you first get in here with the games of course and some of the neat display pieces got some posters right there uh, all framed up got some more of course right here and check out all the figures that we've got uh, there's the closet TV uh, this is where the magic happens the game station as you will um, for some reason I got a bottle of Rainex there I don't know why I had that there but whatever um, this is actually a lot cleaner than it normally is. I kind of stiffed it up a little bit. And here's the console station. Uh, this is an assortment of the different game systems I have. Not all of them, but a lot of the more popular ones, I guess you could say. And uh, this is some of my lighting setup and got some gloves there for some reason, because why not? Uh, I got some more posters back here, but we open it up. This is, of course, where my clothes go, but also I do have some more games and whatnot back here as well. So we're going to go ahead and check all of this out in further detail. I just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick little overview before we get started. So let's get started. Okay, so I've decided to be kind of fancy and use a lot of manual focus on this here. Uh, there is, of course, the Krusty's Funhouse figure. I uh, wanted to kind of show in closer detail a couple of figures. I actually got these for Christmas uh, for my brother-in-law, Herschel. Um, a cool-ass Venom figure and a really sweet Batman figure. One of these are going to be opened on the camera, of course. Uh, this is my Xenoblade X Strategy Guide. Collector's Edition Strategy Guide. Pretty nice. So uh, Nice little Duff Energy drink. I did a video on that. Some dice for D&D &D action. Uh, here's some marble Tsum Tsums, which uh, my wife actually got me for Christmas, and they're kind of a neat little thing. I actually want to check those out in more detail, because even though they're really super tiny, they actually have quite a bit of detail, and they look pretty neat, I'd say. So uh, we're going to take a look at those, of course. Just a assortment of DC characters. I don't know why they're different sizes, but that's kind of weird. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pan out, and... Just see kind of the very top of the game shelf one more time, and then we're going to look at the games, people. So at the very top, we've got the NES and the PS1. Uh, the NES is near and dear to me. Uh, of course, we got the PS4, Xbox One, uh, got the PS2, Vita, so we're going to check it all out. So let's zoom in first for the NES games. Uh, a lot of these games I really enjoy. Some of them I just picked up because they were kind of cheap. I'm having a little trouble focusing here. You have 1943, Castlevania 2, Cobra Command, Deja Vu, Destiny Emperor, Donkey Kong, Kid Icarus, Vaxanadu, Final Fantasy, Goonies 2, Kung Fu, Zelda, Marble Madness, Punch-Out, Zinja Gaiden, Solomon's Key, Star Tropic, Strider. You, can, you guys can see, obviously. I don't need to commentate any of these. The two at the very end are the multi-carts. Uh, here's my PS1 collection. I used to have a lot more PS1 than I do now, uh, but I sold off a lot of the games, and uh, some I don't even understand why I still have them, but eh, it's whatever. But anyways, we're going to go and pan out. You've seen those games, of course, and I uh, just kind of want to go over it one more time in case you guys missed anything that you might be interested in, of course. Uh, don't forget to pause the video at certain points if you're not sure what you're looking at or whatever. Uh, here's my PS4 collection. I've got a pretty good collection of PS4 games going. Uh, a lot more than most people I know as far as that. I really enjoy the PlayStation 4. It's got a great lineup of games. Uh, but the whole downside with having only a 500 gig hard drive and have to delete games a bunch, you know, that kind of sucks. But Sony has announced that there is going to be external hard drive support with the 4.50 update, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, so this is just an assortment of the PS4 games that I have currently in my collection. And now we've got the Xbox One. I don't have a lot of Xbox One games currently, and a few more PlayStation 1 games. So that's that end of the shelf right here. So I've also got a uh, fair share of PS2 games, which we're going to take a look at here. I used to have more of those too, but I got rid of some I didn't really care for. 
Um, so yeah, we've got quite a good selection. I try to alphabetize my games, you know, so that it's easy to find any game if I want to just, just decide to play it for whatever random reason. Um, but I've got a pretty eclectic set of games. I would say I pretty much favor RPGs and whatnot. I got a few Sega Genesis games, some Sega CD, PS1 long box, regular PS1, and the Factor 5 cartridge. Here's some PS Vita games. Uh, yes, that is a Shovel Knight for Vita. Very rare. Um, but it's not that pricey, to be honest. Probably because everybody's got Shovel Knight now. Who cares, right? <laughs> and, of course, we're down here, we have get the Wii U games. Um, good selection of Wii U games, in my opinion. Got a few Wii games up here. The ones that are in the cardboard sleeves, of course. Uh, those actually came with the purchase of my red Wii that I have currently. Uh, then, of course, after we get past the Wii U games, we get into the original Wii, of course. Uh, got a few of those games as well. Uh, Sheer and the Wonder I only got for 10 bucks, and apparently it's a $100 game now, so that's kind of interesting. Um, we've got, of course, the Xbox 360. I've got a number of games here. Um, pretty good selection, in my opinion. I've got one Xbox game, Sneak King, but it's compatible with both, obviously. Uh, just a few more odds and ends because the shelf couldn't fit all of them uh, the way I wanted to. But it is what it is. And then, of course, we've got the very bottom of the shelf. I had to sit down to get to it. I have my lone box NES game by Commando. Love that game. Quite a bit. Uh, Retro City Rampage, that's the PC DOS port. Uh, pretty rare. Uh, got this Star Wars pop figure, Han Solo. Uh, Xeno Gears, I decided to feature that next to uh, the Xenoblade Chronicles X uh, thing there. Of course, we got some Super Nintendo games. Uh, fortunately, I cut off some of these, but you probably could tell what they are, I'm sure. Uh, and then this last one up here, I have a hard time focusing on it, but it is actually Soul Blazer, uh, which is a really good game. Uh, all these are good games, in my opinion. Well, maybe not Beavis and Butthead so much. I got a few PC games right here, of course. Uh, still collect PC games on occasion, but pretty rare. Actually, that Fallout one's the last one I bought physically. Uh, down here, got a couple more PC games, some empty cases that Assassin's Creed 3 I'm borrowing from my uh, brother-in-law, Tommy. Uh, got a lone Xbox 360 game, a couple of collector's boxes, and finally... A Destiny one, just in case you couldn't tell what that is. Okay, so that completes it for the games. Let's check out some of the posters and things I have up here. Got a Minecraft poster right here. Uh, Sherlock, of course. This is actually a Weiss poster. Mighty Number no. 9 actually just put that in the frame today. I figure, hey, might as well put up that poster because that's probably the best part of the game, to be honest, but it's not that bad. Uh, got a movie poster for Star Wars The Force Awakens. I just really enjoy this poster. That's why I replaced some Minecraft poster with it, but we're going to have room for a lot more posters. Uh, got a Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. Margot Robbie, of course, representing Harley Quinn. I got this Smash Brothers poster, which, of course, is sideways, but we're going to turn the camera sideways so you can see everything in greater detail. Because I actually got this poster from a artist at St. Louis Comic Con back in uh, 2015, I believe, or maybe it was 2014. I'd forget which year it is. Uh, but this is a really neat poster, and the only reason why it's sideways right now is because it was kind of meant to be a temporary thing. Um, which uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that later on. But yeah, there's that poster, of course, and we've got the Super Metroid poster from Nintendo Power. Probably my favorite Nintendo Power poster of all time. Partly because Super Metroid is just an awesome game, but also the artwork on it is just amazing. And this is another find I've got from the uh, St. Louis Comic Con. Darth Vader killing some aliens. I mean, it's just completely badass. Check out the detail on this one. It's really gruesome. And I really enjoy the art style. This is probably my favorite poster that I have, to be honest. It's just amazing. Uh, we've got a Dark Souls 3 keychain I got from last year's Comic-Con. And, of course, uh, we've got this Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin poster. I bought it from the local game store. Okay, so I now decided to take you guys up close and personal to the desk where I make all my videos, do my gaming, and so on. Uh, I've got a Razer Deathstalker keyboard. I use two monitors. I've got a 23-inch HP at... Uh, 
1050p and then a 22 inch LG at uh, 1080p. I just kind of want to show you guys here. Um, I actually use it as my game and computer monitor simultaneously. Here's some game controllers I have out at the uh, PS4 and Xbox One setup right now. I uh, just want to kind of focus uh, on there. I've got the Pernisher sticker that I used to have from before. Uh, here's my Elgato. And I just want to kind of show you guys something here. I actually have it attached to the desk, so it makes it really easy and convenient in case I ever need to move it, and it keeps it secure. Uh, the same thing, of course, holds for that back there, which we're going to check out. This here makes things a lot easier. This is an HDMI switcher box. Uh, because the monitor only has one HDMI port, it gives me the opportunity to easily switch between systems. I kind of did a little custom job here where I blocked out the LEDs because those lights are ridiculously bright at nighttime. So I put some painter's tape on there to kind of mask it. Okay, so here's the computer desk. The handle's messed up, of course, but if you slide it open, this is where I keep a lot of the game controllers that I commonly use. I just put the Xbox One and PS4 controllers in there. NES, PS3, Xbox 360, um, Super Nintendo, I think. No, it's just... Oh, NES Classic, okay. Um, oh, that looked like a Super Nintendo controller because it was obviously the dog bone. But yeah, this is my controller shelf. Uh, pretty neat. And if we decide to look down here, there's the computer that I work on, of course. That Xbox One controller is Bluetooth to the computer. Uh, there's some power cable action right there, of course. And down here we got some more game shelves. I hold just some miscellaneous game things, of course. Got some N64 controllers and other stuff in here. It's all just kind of mixed in. I really need to get it sorted out. There's an actual N64 right there, uh, which was a recent acquisition, of course. And then down here, I've got some Game Boy Advance stuff. Uh, really having a hard time opening that shelf there. I don't know why, but uh, let's try this again. <laughs> so down here, we've got some Game Boy Advance action and some Sega Genesis box games, as well as a controller, which is in that box. It's still new in box. And then we've got a few loose cartridges, which I decided to pull out. Here's my EverDrive, of course. Very useful cartridge to have uh, if you're a Genesis owner or, well, EverDrives are useful in general. Uh, I got a couple of Sega 32X games because Sega decided to cheap out and not put in labels on those, which is fun times. So uh, there you go. There's some Sega games for you if you really wanted to see them. Let's go ahead and put everything back in the shelf. And now it's time to take a look in detail at the consoles that I have featured here. Uh, of course, right at the very top is the retro goodness. Uh, we got the Sega Genesis, the Super Nintendo, the NES, uh, the PS4, Xbox 360, PS3, Wii U, Xbox One. Zoom in a little bit closer, of course, we see we have a 32X, and then, of course, a face hugger. That's right, we've got a freaking face hugger right on top perfect spot for it. it used to be on the master chief helmet but can't get it to stay on there uh then we've got the super nintendo junior it is rgb modded led modded got a bionic commando lunchbox behind me got it as a pre-order for bionic commando back in 2009 then there's the nes i put the vinyl skins on and a custom alien painting which reflects quite nicely off it really cool little effect added there unintentionally uh Xeno xenoblade chronicles x art book uh, this is the PS3 Super Slim 500 gig model. Serves me very well for PS3 action. For Xbox 360, of course, we've got a Slim Xbox 360. The first edition Slim model, of course. Uh, then, of course, my PS4 got the wood grain treatment. Uh, both those vinyl skins for that and the NES I got from VinylSkins.com. Check out the video at the end. And then, of course, we have the Wii U. Put the game controller for that on top because it's massive. It doesn't really fit in the drawer very well. And then, of course, the white Xbox One S with a 2 terabyte external drive hooked up to it. And then, finally, of course, we've got to power those consoles. So we have a power strip. Got those consoles all geared up and good to go. Although I don't use this TV too much, it does serve me for some retro gaming needs, as well as Netflix and whatever. For me and the wife, there's the Blu-ray player that we use for that purpose. Uh, we're going to check out these figures now, but I'm going to show them to you in greater detail. 
in this next shot that we've got coming up. Okay, so as you can see, we have a large selection of figures. A lot of Skylanders on left-hand side. I kind of unintentionally got into Skylanders. Even though I never played the game, I like the figures, kind of. Uh, that Wario figure is actually a custom job made by my wife. It's really cool. I might have to feature that in a future video uh, by itself. But I kind of want to just show the very front row of figures here. Uh, the little ones are actually from a miniature game. I think it's called Mage Knight, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there's the Fallout I got with the Fallout Collector's Edition. Um, that one I got from uh, Loot Crate, the Toad, Shovel Knight Amiibos, of course. Alien, I love this alien figure. It's really cool. I uh, got some pop figures, of course, in the back. Uh, that Iron Man's kind of like a candy thing, actually. Uh, zombies, of course, got to have those. Uh, just showing the second row of Skylanders figures, of course. I want to really get a cool little focus where everybody can see what all is there. Um, I don't know why, but there's like a whole bunch of those ninja ones. But they're apparently different figures, so I have no idea. Uh, that Captain one is like an exclusive Wii U figure I got with my Wii U. Uh, Deadpool, of course, that's a Q fig. Uh, a couple more pop figures, uh, the Pip-Boy, got a Batman figure, which is pretty neat. I actually got that for Christmas. Uh, Wolf Link Amiibo, came with the Twilight Princess HD, of course. And this whole came from a game called Playmation or something that's similar to Disney Infinity, I suppose. It's made by Disney. And then we have the Resident Evil 4 Chainsaw Controller for the PS2. Uh, which is a pretty sweet little controller. I got it cheap and apparently it's expensive now. I got a few more Skylanders here, of course, including Spyro. Uh, got my Fallout 3 Collector's Edition lunchbox there. And here's the uh, figure from the Dark Souls 3 Collector's Edition. I kind of want to show this off in some sweet detail, which I probably already did, but this is a really nice figure. Um, got uh, Domo, of course, uh, some more Pit Boys, or Pit Boys. Pop figures, <laughs> and uh, got a Legend of Zelda lunchbox right there. Uh, so that uh, just about does it. Of course, we got the Master Chief helmet here in the background. I actually want to get another look at that, so let's step around and take a look. Okay, so as you can see, the Master Chief helmet is actually standing on a couple of storage totes, which just include a bunch of gaming stuff, a lot of cables some extra consoles and whatnot that I just don't have the room to put up right now. There's a, a Game Gear, an Alden Life micro console, a uh, bunch of cables and whatnot in there. On this next shelf right here, uh, got a DJ Hero turntable, a couple controllers and whatnot, got the Game Stick, a Blackberry Playbook, a Sega Dreamcast is in there somewhere I believe. I uh, had a little trouble getting that one shut because it's really stuck to the brim. Uh, we got this one down here, of course, some more controller stuff and whatnot. I'm not really sure what I'm trying to focus on with that blue thing. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I uh, thought I noticed something, but I guess nothing important particularly. Uh, just some more cables and various other knickknacks. You know, this all needs to be sorted out. I've got some important controllers for the NES, Xbox, and so on down here. And then, of course, the NES Classic Edition box. When the NES Classic Edition, I'm not sure where exactly that is, but we're going to find it. And then let's go ahead and just check out some of the posters that we've got here on the closet itself. From Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for the GameCube, of course. Pretty cool little poster. Um, this one I really like quite a bit. This is the Weapon Lord uh, poster for the Super Nintendo. A uh, game that I probably should talk about sometime because uh, it's got a very interesting story to tell behind it. And then, of course, Boogerman, which I thought is just a nice, whimsical poster to put there. Good times. Okay, so the closet is open, and I've got some more games, if you can believe it, because, like I said, this is a small apartment, and I have to figure out a spot to put them. So I have a little bit of struggle opening up the Nintendo 64 case. I'd like to discuss this in much more detail, but this is my largest game collection that I have physically. And I really want to kind of show off what I've got here. A lot of these games have end labels, but not all of them. Couple, I put a couple of custom labels like that one. But let's go ahead and shut that one if it wants to, and let's just fast forward to when it shuts. Okay, so the top of the shelf is where I keep my PS3 games. 
another pretty good sizable collection. Unfortunately, don't have the room for it right now, but I figure I show these things off because you can kind of still see what all is there at least. Um, a lot of these games I actually purchased in 2016 because of just how cheap PS3 games seem to be going for at GameStop, but uh, got a pretty nice little selection that I'd love to show off some time. And then before we get to the bottom of the shelf, I've got three original Xbox systems that I really need to get something done with. Uh, just some boxes with Nintendo Power magazines and various other things. And for some strange reason, I had an issue with the camera footage, so I wasn't able to actually show the bottom shelf. But here's the very top, just above the clothes here. I've got my Atari 2600 in its Atari Game Center. I'm just going to go ahead and lift the lid here so you guys can see the Atari system goodness. I've got some games and controllers and whatnot inside the Game Center under it. Uh, here's a UNSC box that I got from Loot Crate. Pretty sweet. Uh, batter up for Sega Genesis. I'm actually going to be reviewing that very soon. As well as a Tony Hawk ride game. I got the Elgato box, my webcam box, Call of Duty Ghost box. Uh, there's a box for Retro Fighters Jab Pad. There's my clothes. And that right there concludes the Game Space Tour, my gaming safe space. <laughs> uh, but seriously, I hope you guys enjoyed this little look. Uh, just to kind of really drive it in, this is just like a little slow pan for everything to be seen one last time. Thank you very much for watching. So that's it guys. That's the game space. You've seen everything that it has to offer. I hope you really enjoy it. But let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you got your own game room or game space, I'd love to see what that looks like. So post it down below. But till then, Dow Phoenix out.